KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. Stopping short of saying what exactly restrictions they will recommend, the head of the Governor's Physicians Advisory Group does say they are needed for Guam to stay ahead of the spread. Dr. Nguyen Nguyen says the Delta variant is serious. We definitely will need to think ahead and put some restriction there. You know, uh, we just try our best right now to not let it happen um, like the situation in the state right now. You know, it's, um, it's very important for us to be proactive at this point. Uh, I know everyone likes to be 100% a, a occupancy and, and no restriction, but um, as you can see, the, the number in the last two weeks or so uh, tell us that we un, until we get more people vaccinated uh, to uh, to decrease the risk of people in the hospital, uh, we need to, to put some restriction in place at this point. The physicians group met Thursday evening, and at the time of the meeting, there were 15 hospitalizations split between the Guam Memorial Hospital and Guam Regional Medical City. We have gone up above the number 10 uh, on the hospital admission, and that's a, on, like I say, it's a trigger and an alarm key for us to, um, you know, um, possibly um, the, uh, make some uh, change to try to curve the, um, the, the, the surge. Uh, and along with that, you, know, you can see there's um, uh, um, a lot of people now, a lot of positive community. And I would expect that even if we put restriction on, it's going to take about two weeks, uh, up to three weeks or so, for us to see the number to turn around and come back, to come downward. According to Dr. Nguyen, our best defense against COVID and the Delta variant is being vaccinated. And although not bulletproof against COVID, it will help in decreasing the number of hospitalizations. Aside from getting vaccinated, what you can do is also to slow your role. I'm going to ask people in the community to, you know, um, really be careful. Um, you know, if you don't have to go to any gathering, um, you do not go. Um, because you know, really at the gathering, um, there's no mass, especially indoor. And the risk of catching the virus and bring it back to your family and your colleague, your workplace is, is uh, very, very high. Um, so I would say that if you do not have to go, um, I would refrain from going, even if you're fully vaccinated. The physicians group also urges the community to go back to the basics of wearing your mask, watching your distance, and washing your hands.